Excavated from graves uh, have been treated rather generally. Uh, it changed together with historical costume uh, study development and working out new methods of conservation applied for archaeological objects. Uh, made of organic material, uh, materials, uh, which in turn gave the researchers proper tools, enabling uh, more detailed studies on problems appearing when treating archaeological textiles. Researchers turned their attention not only to fundamental information concerning textiles type and uh, width, uh, width uh, but also uh, to its purpose and its use. Uh, fashion trends obligatory uh, for different uh, historical periods uh, influenced uh, greatly on the look of particular social groups. Uh, changes in uh, clothes of adults, representatives uh, reflected also in garments worn by children, and it was the most significant in case of children belonging to social allies. <clears throat> Thanks to numerous archaeological material uh, coming from children's graves, we are able to follow transformations in their dress. In many examples, usually grave gown was replaced by everyday clothes. The tired analysis uh, of garment fragments let us uh, identify various clothes from worn uh, by children until the second half of the 18th century. Uh, similar dependencies are observed in children's burials where the dead uh, have been deposited uh, to graves in ordinary clothes imitating uh, their parent garments. Archaeological um, explorations were formed generally in churches and family groups, provided huge, uh, huge source of material which spotlights the problem of real, uh, of our ancestors' outlook and ways of uh, dressing. In mostly concerned uh, at risk of uh, wealthy citizens and their family members. Uh, it was a result of social class uh, division and uh, in consequence uh, disproportion in access to those uh, luxury objects of nobles and rich uh, workers uh, and common people uh, just living on their work. Uh, finds including silk textiles in graves inside temples uh, and their lack in burials uh, situated in graveyards um, are the best illustration of that impact. <coughs> Location of uh, dead body was strictly con uh, conditioned uh, by his or her social position and family wealth. That information is crucial in reference uh, to graves of children. It should be remembered that mortality rate was the highest in case of infants, but also older children uh, died frequently. Therefore, families were much bigger uh, than uh, at present, <coughs> and parents or relatives could not afford some to funerals uh, of their offspring. They were frequently worried together with other family members, uh, like their siblings, parents, or grandparents. Um, although funeral ceremonies of children were much more modest, complete burial right was still preserved. The fact uh, is confirmed by archaeological exploration of children's graves in which, apart from coffins, fragments of garments and grave work, <coughs> equipment typical for uh, graves uh, of adults representatives were also reported. Uh, on the ground, uh, grounds of uh, collected archaeological materials, we can distinguish three basic types of grave artery used uh, for dressing children after their deaths. Uh, grave uh, shirts imitating night gowns, everyday clothes uh, used during individual lives, and specially made gowns following the fashions of 17th and 18th century. Typical grave shirts were uh, the most popular for both adults and children. Uh, that was the simplest form of grey crop, uh, swimming with uh, basting stitches, often without any uh, back part. 
We record these examples in finds from grave explorations in Kostrzyn uh, Nodor, Lublin, Torin, and Nie. Dresses made that way uh, were not the uh, of their external splendor. To make them more uh, aesthetic, they were uh, richly decorated in accordance with European fashion of the period. Because mortal gowns uh, uh, had patterns of nice gowns, uh, real uh, underwear may have been used instead of specially made uh, new ones, adding only some decorations, uh, both ribbons and arranging the gown around the dead body in the coffin. <coughs> in several instances, uh, clothes worn uh, by a child during its life was used instead of new gowns. Uh, this clothes usually preserve in archaeological materials in much better condition than standard grave garments. <coughs> that type of clothes is clearly distinguished thanks to their uh, careful uh, swing and preparing all the elements. Exact cuts uh, and neck uh, and armpits uh, and characterizes with all kinds of evident uh, worn out uh, cuffs, uh, tinted threads indicating earlier usage. Exploring children burials from Polish territories, we can observe a very interesting phenomenon relating to occurrence of everyday clothes in graves. In many instances, in the course of archaeological studies, the researchers excavate dead children remains dressed in miniature versions of adult clothes. In both cases, they were uh, copies of national Polish dresses or Western-style clothes. Zupan's just occurs and jackets. It is perfectly illustrated in portrait uh, paintings where fathers and sons are dressed in identical clothes of uh, not only the same pattern but also uh, kinds of textiles as uh, usual. Complete Polish national dress is Zupan and Kontusz were excavated in the uh, southern crypt uh, of Lublin Cathedral. Mm, that was the Zupan before. Mm -hmm. uh, two boys were wearing jupons and uh, accomplishes made of beautiful silk damask and uh, satins. Uh, we report similar situation in the portrait of mothers and daughters where they are present in dresses of fashionable patterns uh, predominant in European fashion of 17th and 18th century. In graves of older children, uh, grave clothes were frequently replaced by their everyday dresses or their special uh, grave versions. Uh, in, uh, it is uh, illustrated by the grave dress of the oldest girl uh, from Bytom Odrzański. Her dress suits uh, all of the requirements of young girls coming from rich families' uh, fashions. The dress imitates exactly the form of a uh, dress of an adult woman and is uh, additionally uh, <coughs> Equipped with glass hair decorations and her feet dressed in textile shoes of uh, mullet slides uh, with wooden heels. Uh, imitating forms of clothes worn by adult families, representatives, was a common practice used in uh, preparing uh, grave clothes uh, for children. Uh, thanks to that fact, it is possible today to define approximate period of their making and depositing the grave together with the dead child. That practice was implemented not only for ordinary guns, but also for special funeral ceremony garments. Uh, front part was much longer than normally to cover the feet, holding textiles downwards under the bo uh, body snacks. <coughs> that treatment is uh, reported in grave dresses of children buried in family crypt from uh, Evangelical Church uh, in Bytomodzianski. Such dresses were usually decorated with big numbers of bows and pants uh, pinned along the core. Uh, on sleeves and cuffs, uh, but also on bottom uh, feet part. To obtain a parent compact uh, construction, particle elements were swung together with basting stitches or rolled edges. Uh, Folds for excess textiles were pressed <coughs> and pinned sometimes, which made uh, the simple dress look more sophisticated, and a variety of herbal share ornaments indicated uh, high pattern social status, parents' social status. <coughs> uh, forms of children grave uh, clothes already very much information on their manufacturing, uh, burial ceremonies, and social family position. 
One should be very careful, however, while identifying dead children, <coughs> because uh, the same forms of grave shares were used for both boys and girls. Uh, estimate a uh, child's uh, sex property, we uh, should employ also anthropological tests and uh, information which can be placed on coffin sleeve or its front. Written sources are uh, helpful as well if there is no access or additional um, directions. We should be very cautious forming a conclusion uh, based uh, only on archaeological context and costume analysis. Uh, and that was the case uh, with Royal uh, number 17 in Stuttgart, where it was impossible to identify the child's sex uh, on the grounds of its uh, grey uh, gown. The inscription on its coffin signed Konoka could uh, have indicated the diminutive uh, form of both male and female names Stanislav or Stanislava. <clears throat> uh, for centuries, individual children uh, needs uh, had been neglected uh, and had, uh, had to be only many images of their rich parents, uh, which fact often reflected negatively on the proper development of the youngest society members. That tendency is observed until the end of the 18th century, when uh, at least uh, the cult rules started to be introduced. Following the, uh, these directions, Children clothes started to be more adjusted to the child age <coughs> and build stage to provide natural and easy body movement necessary for proper development of young organism. Uh, first, such clothes appeared in England and France, and next, the trend spread through other European countries, putting family uh, finally an end to a long time tradition of dressing children in exact copies of their parents' clothes. Thank you. Мама, другая, судя я.